Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your Lambda 1 VR installation on your Oculus Quest 1, 2, or potentially a future headset to HD. So, Lambda 1 VR, as I'm sure you already know, allows you to play the original Half Life on your Oculus Quest standalone. Once you've set it up, don't need a computer, go to your friend's house and play it. Just take your Quest with you. So, you know, it's an old game. And if you whack it on a device like a Quest that, you know, you are literally, your eye is almost wedged onto the screen, a high resolution display, it looks a bit dated, you know, let's just say that. So upgrade, upgrading it to HD just makes everything just look a little bit sharper and provides a better experience. So to do that, it's really simple. Make sure you watch my previous video on how to install Lambda One VR. So this assumes you've done that. This is for Linux, as you can see. It can be any any Linux distro. On top of that, if you want it for Mac or Windows, I've got separate videos covering how to install Lambda One VR and how to update it to HD for those OSs. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is obviously make sure you've connected your Quest to the computer. I just like to use SideQuest just to confirm that it's connected. We're not going to be using SideQuest, but it's just to confirm that it's actually connected. That's all. And if it comes away purple or orange, put the headset on. You'll, allow, you'll probably ask you to allow USB debugging and other permissions. Just do that. It might pop up a few times. Just do that. Once it's gone green, you know it is ready to go. So the first thing is we need to download something called HL Gold. So I will provide a link in the description to this website. Let's scroll down. Go to... I've gone too far, I believe. Go to here. Improving graphics, HD textures, models. Click on this download button. So take it to this page. Click on HL Gold HD zip file. It says download 7-zip. We don't need it for the Linux, for the Linux, for Linux, because we can just extract it using the built-in extractor. So just click that, go to this download button, and click download anyway. I'm, I'm going to cancel it. I don't want you to cancel it, but I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So cancel that. Now I'm going to go to where I downloaded it to download and right click just click extract here I've already got it extracted so we can just go into here and we need to copy this file so copy this go to your quest folder go to there go to xash and you just paste it right here I've already got it done so I'm not going to do it. it just takes a few minutes or for it just do it you know beforehand and mom was acting a bit slow so I just did it beforehand click paste once you've done that, go to the folder where you downloaded your Half-Life 2 that I showed in the previous video. It'll be wherever you've got it. I use Steam. So if you use Steam, you'll just go to home.steam, Steam apps, common, Half-Life, and then go to the Valve HD folder, select all three of these. But before we do, go to models and scroll down and rename hgrunto3 to the same thing but with a lowercase this is you know important for some reason on unix based unix like os's like mac and linux it puts an uppercase h hey, don't have the issue on windows but it does on here i don't know why but it does so copy that and it's probably just a mistake on the developer's end and whatever they were using maybe it wasn't case sensitive or if it was they code there was a slightly different code for it either way you know we need these three folders so if we copy them and go over to quest 2 go to internal shared storage go to xash go to valve and just paste it here you'll pop up something like this we want to replace the files so click this click merge you'll come up with this now apply this action to all files and folders we want to replace 
and it will replace it. It shouldn't take long. I just wanted to show you that little thing compared to the other one that isn't replacing anything or merging with anything. This is, and there's a, you know, obviously you need to do it the right way. We're almost done. If we go back, if we go to command line the TXE, we need to edit this. So edit this with a text editor. And this is pretty basic at the moment. If you go back to the original website I showed you, scroll down and copy this command right here. And just, just get rid of it, paste that there. I'm just going to save it. We're using control S. That is saving it, and that is all saved now. If you do not want to use the HL Gold HD HD textures that we downloaded, the assets, just get rid of this part of it. And if you do, just put that back in. Simple as that. That way you can switch easily without having to take files off. You just change this little thing. Feel free to experiment with these as well, but these work very, very well. And that's it, I've saved it. I'm just gonna make sure it is the correct version. It is, and now we are good to test it. So close this down, or close this down, and I'll open up oculus.com forward slash cast. And now I'm gonna disconnect my headset. If I show you in SideQuest, it's gone red. It has been disconnected, and you will see, you shall see the I'm going to turn my controllers on. Okay, my controller just decided to do update. And okay, we're good. So now if we go to sharing, you'll see my screen momentarily. And hopefully very soon you start to see it. Where's the mouse? There's the mouse, it's made this large. Okay, so remember as usual, you go to the all apps and Click this drop down, go to unknown sources, select Lambda 1 VR. This will load very fast. I'm just going to turn down the volume a bit. Go to configuration, go to video, video options, select allow materials. Done, done. Now we're ready to play. So go to new game, medium or you know whatever difficulty you want and good morning to you too and i can immediately notice oh, well for starters that texture there here had like a bluey color to it so that's one way i would notice different so it just looks sharper and uh, we can just look around as we normally would And that is it. I'm just going to pause it and I'm going to take the headset off now. One last thing I actually want to mention. One last thing. If. Okay, I need to connect my headset up for this. Let me connect up my headset. This is just only if you can end the video now if you do not want to port over any old saves from the old lambda one vr installation if you do then let me just get this all connected so i can show you what you need to do okay so if i go to here to internal shared storage go to xash you go to valve save just copy you know literally this folder or the contents of it you go to hl gold and you put the save folder in here that's all you have to do save folder from there into there obviously if in here you don't have this then you're leaving the original place and you're all good to go so that is it thanks for watching if you have any questions as 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 no as usual 
feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.